It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Howling Hops and it's a bottle of the Barrel Age Fighting Ale. It's a beer coming in at 12% ABV, aged on Lafrag. It's a Cascades Imperial Stout aged in Lafrag whiskey barrels. It didn't focus earlier. There you go, now it's focused. I wonder. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. What will I be like after drinking this beer? Um, will my mood change? Will my attitude to life change? Will everything change? <laughs> this is a bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Ooh, look at that! Smoke on the bottle opening. I was almost expecting, I always thought then, imagining liquid just to go up the top of the bottle, but it's behaving very nicely. Beer in the glass then. Oh, it's created a lovely two finger tan coloured head. This is a jet black beer in the glass. Good levels of carbonation. It looks thick and gloopy and lovely and whoa! -ho 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 -ho! That looks lovely. You never hear beer people, do you? When they when they do mobile phone unboxings, you never see them getting the latest greatest Samsung out of a box and going, whoa! -ho 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 -ho! Look at that! You know, almost like they have to be like too controlled over 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 what they what they're reviewing uh, i'm sure they're passionate about mobile phone reviewing i'm sure they are all these tech reviewers on youtube um but i think i'm pretty unique you know i, I think uh, when it comes to beer uh, i don't think there's anybody more passionate about beer than than the man here holding this glass in front of him in, in front of you even um than than me <laughs> I don't mind that my emotions overspill on the camera. Um, if it tastes terrible, I'll tell you. If I pour this out and I think this looks wonderful, I'll go, I'll try and do it again now. Ooh, or whatever I did. And yeah, anyway, <laughs> beer review. Um, jet black beer in a glass, one finger tank on head, aroma. Blame me, um, the smoky, woody, toasty, whiskey. Oh, blame me. Oh, I'm not a massive whiskey fan. I'm, in fact, um, I'm not a, a lover of whiskey at all. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a beer review. I'm just gonna, oh, oh, pardon me, do my own thing here. Be perfectly honest with you guys. Yeah, it's got a lot of whiskey in this. Is, it's like they've used a fresh Lafrag whiskey barrel that's, that's been soaked. The, the, the whiskey soaked into the barrels. They poured the beer into the barrel and it's like completely soaked in. All of that lovely whiskey and Lafrag smoky woody flavours have just leapt. The vanilla flavours have leapt into the into the beer. And that's what they've wanted to achieve really. Um, they reckon, I think, well, if I'm going to guess, not guess, but if I can remember what people have told me in the past, you can use a barrel up to three times, I think, before there's really not much point. Um, there's enough whiskey soaked into the wood, uh, the walls of the barrel on the inside that soaks back into the beer that you could do it three times. Uh, in fact, very quick story, and I promise I'll get onto the beer review. Um, a lovely man called Martin Cornell once told me uh, at a beer festival in Poland when we were there together, and uh, we spent the whole weekend drinking, it was really good fun with Martin, that um, if you filled a fresh, just emptied barrel of whiskey, if you if, you, if it's just been emptied with whiskey and it's kind of wet, if you, if you filled that whiskey barrel with water and kicked the water around, kick the barrel round, sorry, with the water in it for a few minutes 
and then took some liquid out of it. Martin was telling me that you could probably get up to about a 9% watery liquid solution um, out of the barrel. So it, it's quite a contribution. It's quite a contribution. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, oh, um, oh, I'm getting a bit naughty. I like that. I like that. I really do. Oh, I think I've got over. I think I've got over my whiskey, my whiskey past. This is fantastic. It really is fantastic. Yeah, if you notice, my voice has gone all kind of calm and 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 reflective and and in the moment. I'm just trying to kind of pull the flavours from. There's so many. There's a lovely warmth on the back of the palate. Chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours coming from the roasted malt. The frag whiskey is like really smoky and peppery and spicy and whiskey, proper Scottish whiskey. Wow. But first and foremost, it is a stout. It's a stout. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful kind of roasted, nutty, biscuity, chocolate, bitter chocolate, sweet caramel. Bitter coffee, stout, pardon me, with some vanilla, lots of wood, loads of wood, loads of vanilla, loads of smokiness and loads of whiskey. Have they mentioned too much on the back of the label? They, they really haven't. Brewed and bottled at Howling Hops, Queen's Yard. Pardon me, it's quite carbonated. Hackney Wick, London. Yeah, there. I, I don't know what that is there, the little, the little dog thing. If you want to comment on that, please do. Is it a fighting dog or something? Oh, oh I, I know exactly what that is. I had a closer look. I know exactly what it is. That's your main man there, uh, the Irish guy. What's his name? Oh, the heavyweight boxer. Punched himself in the face. That's, there's your man look, punching himself in the face. Oh, what was his name? He, he just recently fought in America. I've got Colin McGregor in my mind for some reason. It's not Colin McGregor, it's, um, oh, the, 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 he's a real Christian. He's a God man, um, boxer, heavyweight. Oh, anyway, let's rate the beer. A really stupid name. Tyson Fury! That's him, Tyson Fury. Um, punched himself in the face. I watched it on YouTube. He, he like rocked his head forward and punched himself in the face whilst in a boxing match. And I think he went on to win the fight. Um, <laughs> rating. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. It's a Stone the Crows. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.